I've got another fly that uh, one of my Mangrove Coast members brought to me. Um, tried to talk him into doing the video, but uh, looks like I'm going to end up doing it. Originally, it was uh, designed for trout fishing, something that he used up in Idaho. Uh, his name is Jeff Wagner, by the way. And although this isn't really true to it, um, this is the fly. It's a it's a basic bunny fly, um, but I just thought it looked really good and would might be really effective for our local waters. Anyway, we're going to start off with a, a VMC 7106BN uh, hook in one eye. A good substitute for this would be an SC15 Gamakatsu. This is a one eye. We're using Flymaster Plus in tan. Um, just a standard cross cut uh, light tan. Um, and this is a gold variant with black bars. Uh, this is a regular zonker. And we're going to start off with that. Now, to get this thing down a little bit, you need to add a little bit of lead. Now you've got to leave yourself a little room in the front of the hook. You also have to leave yourself a little bit of room in the back of the hook um, for this. So we're going to start off by going ahead and tying in the rear part or the rear rabbit. Um, like I say, I'm going to take the front hairs off of this zonker strip just so I get a good tie in because this is going to be a little counterintuitive we're going to tie it in upside down or seemingly upside down we're going to have the leather pointing up in this particular instance and I'm going to lay it in on top and I'm going to put some nice tight wraps over the top of that and then I'm going to cut it. Uh, use a razor blade. Don't use your scissors. You'll lose a bunch of your hair if you do it with a pair of scissors. I'm going to cut it a little on the long side. Now I'm going to add a couple of strands of gold crystal flash. First thing I'm going to do is cut these strands in half and I'm going to go ahead and flip the hook the other way. I'm going to fold it across my thread and I'm going to bring it down right in the same tie-in spot couple of wraps, bring it in on either side of my leather, my zonker strip, and tie that down. That way, when this is up, okay, next step, I've got a piece of 35 thousandths lead wire here, I'm going to fold it in half. get a good tight pinch and I'm going to lay that right on top of the hook and lash it down. Now we got to leave ourselves a little bit of room for a weed guard in the front so I'm going to tie forward leave ourselves like an eighth of an inch gap in the front and just go ahead and break that off. Okay. Come back and lash that down to the hook. You can see how I've got it bent over. Put some good thread wraps on it. 
and for a little bit of extra security I'm going to take some brushable crazy glue and just go ahead and wet that whole thing down both top and the bottom okay the next section this is a polar chenille um, it's kind of a buggy looking chenille uh, this one is UV uh, olive copper and I'm going to tie that in right in the back of the hook kind of get it out of the way the next step is to tie in my rabbit zonker strip right on top of the lead now I'm going to bring my thread forward to the front end of the hook and I'm going to put about two wraps of this polar chenille kind of pick it out a little bit in the back of the hook and then I'm going to wrap forward actually I'm going to wrap one wrap of my rabbit then I'm going to wrap a couple of wraps of this polar chenille, kind of pull it back out of the way, hold it down, and then wrap another wrap of my rabbit, a couple more wraps of the polar chenille, kind of stroke it on back. At this point, I'm going to tie that polar chenille off. So I'm going to back my thread up and go ahead and capture that. Trim off the end of my polar chenille. and then over wrap one more full wrap of my rabbit fur now I'm going to capture the leather just on the edge there of my rabbit I'm going to come in with my scissors trim off the tag end Stroke that back. And put a couple more wraps down tight. And then come into that little front section where I left myself a gap. I'm using 16 pound hard mason. I'm going to fold that in half. Bring in my chain nose pliers and pinch it down at the bottom give it a good pinch that'll give me a good fold and then I'm gonna flip this hook right side up or hook point up I'm gonna hook the front end hook my loops over the front end kinda come in and tie that monofilament on back and then back wrap my weed guard uh, 
we're going to position the monofilament a little bit better. That way I get a nice V in the front. And I'm going to go ahead and whip finish. I'm going to bring in my diagonal cutters, cut the monofilament. give it one more brush of the crazy glue to kind of hold everything in place hold my wheat guard in place soak that a little bit and now that fly is completed you can see because I put the lead on the bottom it should ride hook point up the leather is facing down and the rabbit fur is pointing up on my zonker. I've got a little bit of gold flash in the back and I've got that polar chenille wrapped in between palmers of the uh, crosscut rabbit. Should be a deadly little fly for redfish. Anyway, thanks. <laughs>